architecture is a public art. It's an art that belongs to people. Our profession is a very dangerous one. If you're wrong, you're wrong forever. You have no right to make mistakes. Somebody said that when you are eight to ten years old, you have, be, you have already learned essentially everything. Then you have to spend the rest of your life digging. My father was a builder. So I used to spend my, my childhood in on site, sitting on sand somewhere. And, uh, and when you grow up in this atmosphere, you, well, you start to build a little compass somewhere because it's about watching how things may become a building, you know? You have sand that become a column. You have bricks that become wall. So this remains. Then you may become architect, you may become whatever, but you still have that idea that making building is pure magic. I spent part of my childhood going to the Arbo. So this is something that remains trapped in yourself. If you are born in a city like Genoa, you grow up with this, with the Mediterranean Sea in your background. That is a kind of constant desire to discover what is beyond that sea. The truth is that I didn't want to become an architect. I just wanted to run away from the family, to go away. When you are young, you try to do the opposite of what your father has been doing. My father was making buildings made of sand, concrete, and, and bricks. So I wanted to do things opposite, light. But it's made not completely about that. It's also about instinctive pleasure for the sense of lightness. Lightness and transparency are very close friends. You start from something and then you take off, you take off, you take off, you take off. At a certain moment, you have to stop to take off, otherwise everything falls down. If you do this, you find that there's a kind of beauty there. It's a beauty that is a profound, it's not cosmetic. Beauty is a profound feeling. It's intense, it's about understanding. If you don't believe in the, in the capacity of architecture to change the world in better, if you don't believe in the capacity of beauty to make a better world, if you don't believe in that utopia, you should better change profession.